Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. We are going to be doing another brief Turkish coffee adventure today, specifically comparing the grind size between two very interesting hand grinders from different parts of the world. One is going to be the uh, best known Turkish manual hand grinder, the Sozin. Its design has remained pretty much unchanged since the time of the Ottoman Empire. And the second is going to be the Orphan Espresso Lido 2. Now this is on the OE Lido 2, this is where I use uh, for Turkish, I have it marked off with stickers and as you can see it's just a tiny bit shy of the end of the uh, settings. This is as far as the burr will go and it's a Swiss made very high quality burr that they put in these uh, manual grinders. So that's where I keep it and of course the nice thing about the um, OE2 is that it's stepless so if you have someone in the family who prefers a coarser grind, my wife for instance drinks pour over coffee, I love Turkish. The cool thing about this is that you can kind of have one manual grinder for everyone whereas the Turkish coffee grinders from Sozin etc really only do variations of very fine Turkish powder. So I've loaded uh, coffee beans here into my uh, Sozin and I'm going to put some into the OE Lido 2. I buy my coffee from a place called Izzyman's in Jerusalem. They've been making coffee for quite some time and it's excellent. Um, so they both have similar sort of top loading mechanisms and uh, it's important not to fill either too much. You can use a sort of catcher or just do it by hand. I just do it by hand. So here you can see how much coffee there is and we're gonna now get to the um, actual grinding part, the, uh, the exercise. So in terms of ease of grind, I actually think that the Sozin is easier. Something about it is just more fluid. It takes about the same amount of time and effort to produce enough uh, grind coffee for one cup of Turkish using both of these machines. Now the Lido, I know you're not really supposed to hold it by the glass like I'm doing, so don't try this at home. Um, it does come with the tabletop thing to stabilize it, but it's just kind of a bit jerkier. You can see it kind of stops a couple of times. And as I said, I'm using this guy pretty much almost at the very end as fine as it will go really past espresso level fineness and into the Turkish territory but it does both and OE also make a more specific grinder for Turkish Nespresso called the Lido ET. Right so I'm going to put out two little glass bowls and I did my best to show you guys the fine differences between the two grinds. So this is the OE and this is the uh, Sozin that I'm pouring into the little glass bowl here on the right. And I'm gonna do, I did some close up shots to hopefully show you guys um, any sort of minute differences between the two grinds. You can see them at first glance, they look pretty similar, but let's take a look at some really zoomed up footage. So firstly, we have the Sozin, it's kind of nice and powdery. And this is the grind resulting from the OE Lido 2. To be honest, there's very little in the fineness, at least as far as I can see. If you feel differently, feel free to correct me in the comment. They're both definitely good enough for Turkish. Now, I didn't use cardamom in this video. I just I just used pure coffee, which I actually is what I drink most of the time, to be honest. And yeah, they both do a decent job of getting to Turkish. So there is, of course, a big price difference between a Sozin grinder and an OE Lido. The Lidos come in at about $175. They're bulkier, they're heavier, they're more expensive, but I think they're kind of nicer countertop additions. As I said, a big advantage being that um, you can use them for uh, French press coffee, for pour over coffee, for espresso, for Turkish, they're definitely more versatile. But for traveling and probably face to safe to say if it was only me drinking coffee in the house, I think I'd save the cash and go with my Sozin. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was interesting. More videos on Turkish coffee and other subjects coming soon to this YouTube channel.